brands to the battle of the brands. This week we are talking grow lights and we have some heavy hitters getting in the ring tonight. That's right, we are going 10 rounds with Gavita versus Kind LED. Before we go to blows, let's check out our contenders for the title and break down the matchup. In the red corner, hailing from the Netherlands and coming in at 1,000 watts is the Gavita double-ended HID complete fixture. These fixtures are made up of a digital ballast, a bulb reflector, and are considered the reigning champ of HID options on the market. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the canvas this evening in the blue corner, hailing from the lush gardens of Northern California. Coming in at 650 watts of plant-boosting power is the Kind XL1000. These titans of technology come complete with a controllable spectrum and currently sit as the best-selling LED grow light in the world. World. Let's head ringside for the play-by-play -play as we kick off this epic showdown with round one. Sound the bell, because we are ready to rumble. Welcome, fans, to the main event. It's a good matchup. We have some great action headed your way. You know the players. You've heard the stories. Now let's kick this thing off and see who walks away with the title. Round one. Heat. Gavita comes out swinging here, but maybe a little too much too soon. Every grower knows that HID lights come with two major flaws, energy consumption and heat. Gavita's double endeds have doubled down on those flaws and given us a grow light that strangely enough takes two to four times more BTUs of AC to cool your room than a traditional HBS bulb fixture. Better have some additional cooling power on standby to make that a viable option. Kind answers back here and connects early with a grow light that needs no additional components or AC to keep cool. The internal fans on your Kind LED are enough to keep your lights and grow room at a manageable temperature to get those leafy greens you're looking for. Kind takes this one outright. To say they run cooler is an understatement. Compared to the Gavitas, there's virtually no heat to contend with in your grow room when using Kind LED. Round two, energy. Much like the beating in round one, Gavita is back on the ropes in energy consumption. The specs on Gavita 1000 watt fixtures are in, and actually they pull a whopping 1200 watts of power. While this looks like a Hail Mary hook for overall yield, it misses the mark. Most of that energy is in a spectrum that the plant isn't even using, leaving you with a power bill that kills your returns without the payoff. The big kicker here, most of the energy you're paying for comes in the form of AC and cooling that we talked about in round one. Every additional component that you need to make Gavita possible without burning the house down adds to the cost of your grow. Kind enters round two like round one never ended. The Kind LED XL1000 gives your plants the growing power equivalent to the leading 1000 watt HID due to its perfectly tuned spectrum, doing the same job at 40% less power. Something tells me this is gonna play a bigger role later in the bout, but the takeaway here is that the Kind is giving your plants exactly what it needs and it'll cost you 40% less to do it. Kind takes round two without breaking a sweat. Round three, lifespan. Gavita may be running out of steam here in more ways than one. Let's see how they bounce back to give Kind a run for its money. The average lifespan of a Gavita double-ended bulb is about 10,000 hours. That's a lot of growing if you go the distance. It should be noted that HID light intensity drops over time, so most growers replace their bulbs after about five to 7,000 hours to stay effective. Kind better come up with something special to keep momentum up, and yep, there it is, an echoing uppercut boasting 50,000 hours of growing life. At the very least, that'll get you 10 years of harvesting heaven and an average of five times the lifespan of Gavita double-ended bulbs. The shakedown of round three is setting a trend that Gavita needs to shake or it could spell trouble. They better start sending their lights with a light bulb 10 pack to keep themselves off the canvas. Kind heads back to the corner taking round three in commanding fashion. Round four, safety and environmental impact. Gavita double endeds have taken some licks here but keep on ticking in the middle rounds. As the ghosts from round one continue to haunt this champion of discharge, there's gotta be some relief. Gavita won't find it here unfortunately. HID lights are hot, so hot that without those precious cooling components like AC, you run a risk of heating your room beyond what is considered safe. Colorado Springs has already outlawed the use of HID lights, not only due to fire concerns, but those bulbs contain mercury, which is bad for you and bad for Mother Earth. Kind is playing it safe here, and safe is where you want to be. No mercury, very little heat, just pure plant growing power without the risk. HID grows are taking some punches as major commercial operations already started converting to LED for safety and cost concerns. Round four goes to the king of kindness, Kind LED. Round five, yield and quality. Gavita has some renewed energy in round five and this may be the boost they are looking for. For years, growers have been successfully growing massive yields with HID lights. With the increased power from the Gavita double-ended bulbs, we finally see a slight rise from the plateaued expectations from the standard HID lights. It has been documented well that Gavita double-ended lights are an improvement to the yield from those older HID bulbs. But again, with great power comes great cost. 
Kind enters round five with some impressive yields, matching those from the equivalent HID bulbs on the market. Kind is also bringing a finely tuned targeted spectrum that includes the use of UV and infrared diodes that give a proven boost to oil production and flavor. Kind LED gets great yields, but with an increase in overall quality for those growers who were looking for a harvest that's off the charts when it comes to testing. Both competitors had some good connections here in round five. Gavita coming in strong with an edge in yield at harvest, but Kind taking the quality matchup hands down. Looks like a split decision here, meaning round five comes in at a draw. Round six, grams per watt. Gavita may have some fight left with a solid performance in round five. Let's see how this pans out. Turns out the impressive yields from Gavita were not all they were cracked up to be. The action in round six starts off with a huge surprise catch. Gavita advertises three pounds of dried plant matter per harvest using 1200 watts of light and 388 watts of AC cooling power. The need for the additional AC cooling power is taken directly from Gavita's own website. When you break down the numbers, you will get an average of 0.84 grams per watt. Kind comes back in true champion form and hammers hard with a breakdown of its own. Kind advertises two pounds of dried plant matter per harvest using 650 watts of light and no watts of AC cooling power. The takeaway here is that you're averaging 1.378 grams per watt from your Kind LED light grow. The best way to make more money on your harvest is to reduce the amount of money it costs to produce. Kind LED growers are laughing all the way to the bank here and it's easy to see why. If you want to actually turn profits on your harvest, Kind LED is going to get you there and get you there quick. Hold on folks, mere seconds left here in the sixth round and we are seeing some shaky legs out there. The last blow from Kind has our HID champ buckling and Gavita is down. The ref starts the count, but it looks like a done deal. I thought we were in for a long bout tonight, folks, but it looks like this is the surprise finish none of us expected. We have ourselves a sixth round knockout. Kind LED takes down the reigning HID champ and claims the title for the best grow light your money can buy. That was quite a battle, folks. Here's your breakdown. Kind took round one, giving off very little heat and growing strong without the need for additional cooling components. Round two was a sweep for Kind as well, doing the job of the leading HID bulbs at 40% less power consumption. Kind went the distance in round three, boasting five times the lifespan, giving you more grow without having to change your bulbs or replace lights. Round four gave Kind the edge in safety and environmental impact. No mercury in the lights and definitely no risk of burning the house down. Round five saw our first draw of the night, giving the edge and yield to Gavita, but Kind taking the cake in quality categories. Round six gave us the shock of the evening when Kind broke down the digits and showed us how efficient your grow can be, hitting hard with an amazing 1.378 grams per watt return. Gavita just couldn't match up and went down in a blaze of glory. No pun intended. Thanks again for joining us on Fight Night, and don't miss us next time when we go ringside for the rematch of the century to see Pet Rock go head-to-head -head with Sweater from Grandma to see who can reclaim the title for Worst Gift Ever.